the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. more time yeah yeah you turn it into a goddamn all ready to go hey v no not yet carol still needs to check if militech left any ice in the systems corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss no i think we managed to keep them off our scent we left the trucks with the big corpo logos down by the raffin camp which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed hey! at the front. Didn't Seen even need the to be recruited. Numbers. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Congrats, I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Oh, yes! It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No, why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? 
You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, a uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Seems a boat. She'll fly right over any. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now.
everything. Yeah, you turned them to dust. Congratulations. It's time to talk. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. Shit. No, Did I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the uh, Octocaldas. No Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then... 
Suddenly. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? <sighs> to tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <sighs> Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area, back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much hey, better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living! About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? 
Thanks, Pan Am. <laughs>